happy wednesday working from farm today a bunch of projects i think the boys are coming over because school is not in because of some positive covid tests and so i've got a springboard up that my old fat ass is going to cut and hopefully a heck of a lot better than the one that i did on saturday so we shall see what happens today teleworking while lumberjacking that's what i'm doing today tomorrow all right tomorrow. after teleworking for a good six and a half seven hours it's time to do some lumberjacking and i got the barn up to 65 i think it's almost as warm as it is outside it's beautiful out there so i'm hoping to open the doors up and uh, enjoy this stuff so start out with some single and then fat man goes up second tree of the year coming up a little nervous pretty excited um, so goal with this one is just to correct or work on the things that I did last time uh, and that is fundamentally to squat down on this when I'm standing on the first board so that I can see into the back of the hole when I'm making the second pocket I've got a good 11 inch tool up up there this stuff's been running kind of firm so no real expectations with the log. I just want a nice, sure, fundamental climb uh, with good pockets. But again, I have not been training many pockets. This is the second one I've done this year. So uh, no expectations. I'm just going to enjoy it, have fun, because I really kind of like this stuff now. Beautiful day today. Observations on that tree. Um, I, I clumb much better. Um, however, I was a little bitch on the top board. That's the reason why I set up another board so that way that I can get accustomed to cutting on a more shallow hole uh, that potentially slopes down. Uh, and again, it's all about developing no fear. And this is something that I have to relearn every year when I'm doing this. Uh, it's a lot easier this year than it has been in the past. Uh, I will say that. So that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I have a 13 inch tulip. Um, I think this is a good piece of wood. So, uh, ideally, it's going to take 11 if, it, if, it's, if it's as good as I think it is. We'll see what happens. It's, it's like 39 and a half, almost 40 inches. So, it's not really a 13. That's a Euro 13.
up. That was an amazing piece of wood that I just cut in 19 hits, and it was bigger than a foot, and that's tulip poplar, but it's amazing wood. Um, good spacement of the ax, but I stuck three times all on my near up hit, and there's a reason I'm doing that. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm rushing the swing when I'm transitioning from my up hits to my down hits, so I'm changing my level, and I'm trying to pull the ax out differently than the way that I put it in. And so, in order to avoid doing that, uh, I'm going to have to stay down for those near up hits in order to get rhythm, stay smooth. So that's the reason for it's occurrence. I've got a 34 inch sycamore. Sycamore is a hardwood. I'm going to use my little six and a half inch axe. Uh, the last ones I cut off of this tree were not bad. Um, so I probably need to go eight in the front and at least 10 in the back if I had to guess. So again, I'm gonna work on staying down so this act should travel. So that may be an issue that I'm gonna work on. Okay. what held probably could have used three drivers in that big heart and this little hardwood you know probably would have been around further anyway with two drives instead of going eight so live and learn and I probably opened it up too damn wide in the back but anyway that's the reason why I train too high yeah. up next 10 inch beach I'm not gonna have to worry about back sticking in this shit uh, it's hard and it's chippy. So um, kind of got a little limb in the front. I'm hoping I can jump it out with the chip itself. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. If you hear me cussing, you know that it didn't work. Up next is a 35 inch, 30, it's a 35 and a half inch, almost 36. It's a bigger than an 11, but smaller than a foot. It's a tulip poplar. So what I'm trying to do is start out with softwood. I didn't expect that first tulip poplar to be that damn soft, straight up. Um, but normally I like to go from hardwood to softwood, hardwood to softwood, and just to make sure that I'm ingraining the techniques that's necessary to cut hardwood while cutting softwood. That's the concept behind it. Because if you train on only softwood, sometimes you get into bad habits of slapping the log and not staying behind the axe. Um, and you want to have those pretty scarfs. The reason for those pretty scarfs is they're very efficient. That's putting the axe on the log well and it's making sure the axe is cutting as optimally as it can. reason why you can't use decent axes to cut tulip all these little hidden freaking knots there was one in the front too drove absolutely no wood whatsoever but however that's how you need to cut that shit so I'll take it a little 10 inch poplar with the same board holes uh, using a not as good axe and so I'm just going to make sure I get back on the board and go for it because it, again I need to gain confidence with climbing on these holes this particular hole you know it's not bad it's just that it's a little shallow and it's narrow and I'm 
I always make my holes big as shit, and I don't need to. And so that's that's part of this learning process and getting confidence. Um, and for me, confidence is everything. my underhand I always save this for last because I don't want to take a chance of re-injuring the hamstring and ruining this session I know that sounds pathetic but it's the truth uh, and so this first one is this hard ass red oak or not probably black oak and I'm going to just kind of hard hit it a little bit uh, just to get a feel and then uh, we'll see where I go from there I'm actually pushing it for a good three weeks. So I'm just going slow, well, slow-ish. But this is Tulip and this is a hardwood ax. So uh, 15 in the front, it's a 13 inch log. So. feel it at all in the front when I was going a bit more meticulous but a bit more uh, deliberate but then when I went crazy in the back and went to warp 10 I could feel something twinging in that left hamstring so it's not you know it's not bad but I can just feel it so that tells me no more warp 10 well so be it you know I'm getting too old to do that shit anyway so time to be deliberate 